Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Sagar Bhargav. I am a cataract glaucoma and a refractive surgeon. So we all know that to get rid of your glass power, LASIK is the most commonly done procedure. But many patients don't know that patients who are deemed unfit for LASIK, ICL is a good procedure for removing the power. So in this video, I'll be covering 10 most commonly asked questions by patients who plan to undergo ICL procedure. So let's start. So the first question is, what is ICL? Well, ICL, the full form of ICL is implantable colamer lens. So this is this is made up of a proprietary material called as colamer. And this lens is essentially implanted in the eye to correct the power. This lens doesn't need any maintenance. It doesn't move in the eye. And, and it is uh, it can be easily removed in case there is any issue so let's look at the next question so how is it different from LASIK so LASIK uh, as we know it's a it's a laser procedure which is done to change the shape of the cornea LASIK is done in both eyes in one sitting and it is more of like an OPD procedure where a patient doesn't have to get admitted ICL on the other hand requires an operation patient has to get admitted importantly only one eye is done at a time the other eye is usually done after two weeks and uh, the difference from LASIK is that there is no tissue removal in ICL just an addition of a lens in the eye so the next question is how much power can be corrected by ICL now this is where ICL scores over LASIK ICL can correct up to minus 18 diopters of uh, myopia, up to 6 diopters of hyperopia and up to 6 diopters of astigmatism also. So it has a bigger range of correction compared to LASIK. Let's move on to the next question. So what is the eligibility for ICL? Age is the foremost eligibility. Patient should be between 21 to 45 years. Then patient should not have any eye diseases like glaucoma, uveitis, then he should he or she should have certain pre ICL tests which will tell us about the space availability in the eye for implanting the lens and about the inner layer of the cornea called as endothelium. If all these tests are normal, patients are fit for the procedure. Let's move on to the next next question. So is the is the surgery painful? Is it going to take time? Again, a very valid question. Surgery means we equate it with pain, but luckily in ICL there is no pain involved at all and there is no injection anesthesia also. The anesthesia is in the form of eye drops called as numbing drops and uh, the procedure essentially has two steps. In the first step, the lens which comes from the company is, is uh, loaded onto the loading system and in the second step, the lens is implanted in the eye. The second step is the actual surgical step. And it hardly takes uh, about five to seven minutes to complete that procedure. During the procedure, patient is absolutely comfortable and uh, even speaking to the surgeon. So there is absolutely no worry as regards to pain during the procedure. Now, the next question says that how much time does it take for the other eye surgery to be done? Now, there are many places who do the procedure in a very short time. But we prefer to wait for a couple of weeks for first eye to settle down and to understand the success of the first eye ICL and then do the other eye ICL. The advantage of this approach is that you can actually make some adjustments in the other eye provided we don't get the desired result in the first eye. So let's move on to the next question. What are the potential risks and complications for ICL surgery? Well, during the surgery, because the number of steps are so less, the chances of uh, complications are almost nil. 99% of the patients after ICL have no issues at all. In less than 1% of cases, there can be some minor issues, sometimes some major issues also. For example, patient may have increase in eye pressure. Patient can develop an infection because it's an operation. There's a possibility of increase in eye pressure. There's a possibility of uh, retinal detachment. And very rarely in the long term, patient can also develop cataract. Now, all these issues 
with the timely intervention can be treated. So a follow-up has to be done in a proper way. So moving on to the next question. So how soon can I get back to my normal activities? Well, we had suggest that computer related work and uh, studying can be resumed third uh, after three days following the procedure and outdoor activities can be resumed after a week following the procedure. Moving on to the next question. Will my lens get displaced in the long term if I do vigorous activity? Well, the ICL is placed in the eye in such a way that any kind of physical or vigorous exercises will really not have an effect on the stability of the lens. But yes, if, if the patient has a trauma or injury to the eye, maybe a blunt trauma or something penetrating the eye, then there is a possibility that the lens can get uh, displaced and would need a surgical intervention to bring it back to its place. Moving on to the last question, the 10th question. In future, if I develop cataract, will I still interfere in its management? The answer to this question is no. So when cataract develops, what happens is the eye cell is first removed. Removal of the lens is very easy, just like implanting the lens. And then the routine cataract procedure is done, followed by implantation of intraocular lens. So at no point there is any difficulty as far as the cataract surgery is concerned. So these are in short 10 most commonly asked questions with regard to ICL. Once you understand these basic facts about ICL, it will be easier for you to discuss any further details with your treating doctor. I hope this information is useful for patients who are planning for ICL. Thank you for your patient hearing.